Setting up your Lumitone to play microtonal tunings can vary with each virtual instrument you use. Piano Tech has become a super popular option for a whole whack load of reasons. So let's take a peek at how to set up and use Piano Tech with the Lumitone and microtonal tunings. All right, folks, today we are gonna look at one of the many ways you can get those glorious and inventive microtonal mappings set up in your DAW and ready to be played on your Lumitem. For this video, we're gonna explore the virtual instrument Pianotech. Now, if you're not familiar with it, Pianotech uses what is called physical modeling to create its sounds. So unlike sample libraries that basically just play back a pre-recorded note of any given instrument, physical modeling constructs the sound of an instrument from scratch using algorithms and mathematics. Which appears to be pure wizard magic to my feeble brain. But this makes it an ideal candidate for microtonal tunings. Instead of just pitch shifting samples to hit microtonal notes, it builds them from the ground up. It also helps that piano tech is ridiculously convincing. You know, somehow it sounds more like a real piano to me than some of the more popular piano sample libraries I've played. Okay, so let's start by going through some of the tuning options here. So piano tech has plenty of acoustic and electric pianos to choose from. You can also get vibraphones and harpsichords and whatnot. The main interface is where you can tweak the sound and action of the instrument, but there are already plenty of tutorials on YouTube showing how flexible it is in that regard. But for this video, let's focus on tuning. Up here in the left, we can click this little button here to get into our tuning section. The first thing you'll notice is this tuning wheel. By default, we're in 12 tone equal temperament. The top point here is C, and as we go around the wheel, we get our regular 12 notes, shown here separated by an equal 100 cents throughout the octave. But now if we go up to this temperament drop-down menu here, we see some preset tunings. A lot of these offer some tweaks on the 12 notes and are worth playing around with. Let's say we choose this quarter comma mean tone tuning. We see it's still using the 12 notes, but they are no longer equally spaced from each other. These bars here show where the 12 notes would fall in a regular 12 tone equal temperament tuning. If it's an orange bar, the 12 EDO note would fall on the clockwise side of it. And if it's a green bar, the 12 EDO note would fall on the counterclockwise side of it. And of course, there are presets that start diving into tunings that use more than 12 notes. You also have the option to upload Scala files, which are tuning files that you can find quite abundantly on the internet. But now let's take a more specific look at how we can set up our tunings with our Lumitone mappings. So a great option is to use the make equal temperament function here. Let's say we're looking to play the 22 EDO preset mapping on the Lumitone. Just go ahead and punch in 22 for the degrees. Now we have an octave equally split up by 22 notes at a distance of 54.5 cents. So the first thing you may notice is the unsavory sounds that occur as you move away from your key center. But it's all good. It's actually a real easy fix. Just go up here where it says string tension and click it to full rebuild. This recalibrates all the strings, giving the same timbre to all the notes. This is really important when you're playing microtonal tunings. Okay, next thing you may come up against when you go to play a middle C on your Lumitone mapping, you're actually getting an E. So we need to configure our tuning to match the note patterns on the Lumitone mapping. Now, what I'm about to show you is the way that I've worked around doing it. I'd love to know if others have different solutions. So if so, please comment. But this is how I hack my way through it. Okay, so we're gonna tweak the diapason. The standard diapason is 440 hertz, which is middle A. And the standard MIDI note number for middle A is 69. But we're dealing with a microtonal mapping. So middle A is no longer MIDI note number 69. Let's take a look at which note is. 
As we can see here in the Lumitone editor with the 22 EDO mapping pulled up, MIDI note number 69 is designated to middle F. So the frequency of middle A is 440 hertz, and the frequency for middle F is 349.23 hertz. So let's go ahead and punch that into our diapason. And now when we play our middle C, we get a middle C. And with that, Piano Tech is now synced up to our 22 EDO preset mapping. Now the 22 EDO mapping preset that comes with your Lumitone is all mapped to MIDI channel one. But there are a lot of mappings that use multiple MIDI channels to lay things out across all 280 keys. Luckily, Pianotech has a multi-channel MIDI layout option. So let's go ahead and use the 31 EDO Lumitone preset as an example. Go ahead and punch 31 in our make equal temperament. Hit full rebuild. I'll go ahead and tweak the diapason to 311.13, which is D sharp, since D sharp is MIDI note 69 in this mapping. So as we can see here by the number at the top of each key, the MIDI notes are using MIDI channel one and ascend sequentially as we move up the octaves. But since we can only have 128 MIDI notes per channel, to fit the highest octave in the last section here, it's mapped to MIDI channel two and uses the same MIDI notes as the previous octave. The result is we have repeating octaves. No need to be alarmed, just head up here to the keyboard mapping drop down menu, go to extended layout, and make sure you click that multi channel MIDI layout function. And now we have that final octave to use. And Piano Tech is now configured to the Lumitone 31 ADO preset. So that should get you and your Lumitone off and running with Piano Tech. But if there's anyone out there who uses Lumitone with Piano Tech, I'd love to hear any tips or tricks you might use. We'll be taking a look at working with other virtual instruments and Lumitone mappings coming up. So be sure to subscribe and we will see you folks then.